All right, so we've done enough work on the server side of things. Uh, we've created an API and we've been sending responses to requests. Now we're going to switch to the client side. We'll learn how to write a client. Uh, so far in our application examples, we've been using Postman to make a REST API request and examine the response, right? Now what if you wanted to do it programmatically? What if you wanted to access uh, a REST API using Java? There is a way to do this. Well, let me tell you this. So before JAXRS 2.0, there were different libraries which let you make REST API calls and look at the response and construct objects out of it. But there was no standard. But with JAXRS 2.0, the specification itself lays out a standard for building REST API clients. So it's actually much more portable if you use the JAXRS 2.0 API. So the current version is 2.0. So let's learn how to build a REST API client using JAXRS 2.0. If you're going to be using Jersey, so Jersey has support for those client APIs that comes with JAXRS. Now, I must also let you know that when you're writing a client, uh, you are not really worried about what the technology is on the server. To make a REST API request, the server could be implemented using JAXRS, it could be implemented using Spring MVC, it could be implemented using C Sharp. It really doesn't matter. What you get as a response is JSON or XML. What you send in the request is JSON or XML. So it really doesn't matter what the technology is on the server side. But what we're going to be doing is using Java and Jersey to implement a client-side application. So let's get started. 